Today, I am trying to reason with the eclipse season and SDO. I have recently come to learn that there's actually an eclipse season um, dealing with SDO and the sun. Furthermore, not only was I unaware that there was an eclipse season on our sun, uh, apparently this is a biannual event. Um, so that got me to thinking that, well, maybe the Mandela effect is really true because, hmm, I don't remember hearing that in school. Don't remember actually reading about it, but apparently it's so, and apparently it's been happening for quite a while. So, you know this. Good Lord, I tell you what. Uh, my background is in the video post-production industry. Spent 17 years of that before I got into uh, software. Um, and so, you know, back in the day, in the 80s, you know, before Americans knew what HD was, we were already working on it. Uh, by the way, the Japanese have had high definition since uh, post-World uh, War II. Uh, HD actually was a military band. With any case, I digress. So here is the picture of the sun. And here is Helio Fior. We all know this. So I have already gone in here and... Put that in there. So I want you to pay attention at 6.15.34. This is what we're being told is an eclipse. Okay. And I'm going to blow this up because I think we need to really get an understanding here. Because this is, after all, all about truth. So, I have been criticized, as my associates have been as well, that this is completely normal. That the eclipse apparently has several different properties to it. I was unaware of this. I don't know about you, but apparently so. Okay. All right. I'll play. But as you can see, clearly the sun is being obfuscated. Well, let's just make sure. Let's go up in the different wavelengths. Okay. Well, what happened there? Let's go back down here. Well, there's clearly something happening here in this wavelength, right? But nothing in that wavelength. Now, how interesting is that? Let's just make sure. Okay, well, let's step it up a little bit here. Okay, now listen. For full disclosure, I am not an expert. I do stuff really good, but there's stuff that I'm learning. I think that's what keeps a person young. The minute you become so rigid in your so called theology, philosophy, science, whatever, you've become basically, you're no longer any use because you won't bend. Now, there's questions that, you know, where you're dealing with theoretical science, cosmology. This is still an evolving science. So no one has any right, not I, not anyone to be casting stones at anyone's houses here. Uh, because, folks, we all live in glass houses, if you know what I mean. And guess what? You ain't shutting the curtains. Okay, let's uh, continue on here a little bit because now this is getting interesting. All right, let's go to 131. Well, there's nothing at all happening. Okay. What about 90? Nothing happening there. Okay, so um, all right, so I'm still willing to play. Um, I'm told that this is 
a normal eclipse, fine. You know, I got no problem with that. All right, so let's uh, continue. <clears throat> let's go to our clock and let's go one minute. Okay. I have to admit, this looks clean, doesn't it? So let's just drop it down here. Okay. Well, either it's grown in size or <clears throat> next thing you're going to tell me that there's different obfuscations of matter with light. Okay, so whatever this event is, it seems to be moving um, from an east to west direction. Fine, you're telling me that this is a eclipse, by the way, a biannual eclipse. And it just so happens as well that the SDO is, you know, going through some adjustments. You know, fine. I look at the finer details. And I can't explain if this is an eclipse of light, right? Apparently this is the Earth or the Moon. Because, let's see, I was told today that... The reason why we have a real clean eclipse, and I'll show you the picture, because that's the moon. And the reason why we have this jagged, irregular one, that's the Earth. Okay? Listen, I'm no expert. I'm just a guy. So, I pull this out backwards, and I'm going, well, now this still is looking a little bit interesting. So, before we depart here, let's just make sure that Everything is copacetic, right? Hmm. You know, I'm just smart enough, just smart enough. Now, I, like I said, now there, there's other people out there claiming to be these experts, and that's fine. Um, if they are, that's good. Listen, I'm just the guy in the back of the room raising my hand going, but wait a minute. So if we are seeing an eclipse of the Earth, should we be seeing this? Oh, I know why, because they're telling me, well, no, it's a shadow. Well, anyone can explain to me how the Earth or the Moon can cast a shadow on anything Please do. I'd love to see it. Explain it to me. Because in order to cast a shadow, doesn't you have to have a light coming from behind you? Right? Or am I just, you know, don't know what I'm talking about? And obviously, I don't know what I'm seeing about. So let's advance this one more time. And let's see what happens here. We're going to go to 619. Hmm. That's odd. Did they jump the date on me? Why, those rascals did. What did they do that for? Come on, guys. You ain't playing fair. Okay, let's go back here. Well, obviously, now we're in the midst of what they're saying is a total normal process. Well, there you go. Okay. So, let's just speed this up a little bit. All right, because this is actually going to be part one. Okay. Now, we just saw the Earth shadow go this way, right? So, how's it going? Well, maybe we're just not seeing this correctly, right? So, let's go to 39 seconds. Let's see what we got there. 
Okay. Listen, I'm still buying that, you know, this is just normal. Nothing to see here, folks. And that this is completely normal. We don't need any defined edge. But explain to me then, did the earth just go upside down? That's what had to happen. No, no, I know what it is now. What they've done is adjusted the satellite. Because, folks, like I said, there's going to be a part two to this. Someone, and I'm sure they'll have a good explanation. I just want to make sure I get my popcorn ahead of time because I want to make sure that I'm sitting down for that one. Okay. Now, seriously, folks. Are things just upside down to you? Because now, now it's not going east to west. Not going apparently north to south. Now it seems to be going south to north. At the same time. And they're going to tell me, well, you know, it's just different light. Really? Really? What's going on here? We saw this going this way. It's going down. Look at that. And wait a minute. We just did 10 seconds ago. Let's see what happens. Well, did they switch the date on me again? Those rascals. Well, here we go. Yeah, let's stay focused here, folks. Okay, I'm going to post this, and I don't get it. We're going to get into some technical equations here in part two, because no matter what you want to tell me, no matter how much you want to try to show me your hoodoo that you call that voodoo science. And now I know <laughs> that's what we've been accused of. And uh, so, but seriously, I'm just a normal guy here. And, you know, it's the old expression in Missouri, the show me state. And, 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 and we're, we're seeing this and you got to admit, <laughs> it doesn't make sense, no matter how you look at this and how they want to explain to it, because either time and space is bending, or Einstein's whole theory is no longer relevant, because it doesn't make sense. All right, folks, we'll see in part two.